Hi, my name is Lydia Tunello. This is my final portion of my uh, radio skills test. This is the second half. This is Cordelia. She is supposed to be in the role of a harness pony. This is the get up minus the bridle. We did not put the bridle on. When you do um, bridle a harness horse, you need to make sure all the hair is under control because they've got the blinders and a bunch of straps down through here. Her hair is very thick. We have to braid it up so that we can put it in spots that don't irritate her eyes. It will most likely be tucked under either the halter or the bridle on this side of her face and just tucked over here so it stays out of her eyes. Um, that's important. And if you have a harness horse, you really want to take care of the bridle path and get it all cleaned up and sharp. Second part of the harness, you've got your major rigging here. This is all connected through her tail and her hips. So we've got ex what appears to be an extra girth, but really it's the um, these little loops the harness shafts go through. So they'll go up and sit right about there. You want to make sure these are not loose and flapping. You want to make sure they're secured tightly. The second buckle is the actual girth for this main surcingle portion. Let's find the hole. There we go. And you want to make sure all the pieces and parts are tucked in and not out so that you don't get any risks of something coming undone. Flapping, flying away, because you don't want ponies running off. These little loops, the reins go from her bit up through this loop, through these back loops here, and to the harness back to this area. That keeps your, your reins from drooping, getting caught on anything. <clears throat> this portion here is the crouper. It keeps the main portion of everything where it needs to be. You always want to be very gentle and careful because the skin under the tail is really sensitive. So here's what it looks like out of the out from under the tail. Keeps everything centered and in line with her back. So you just gently put that on. You always want to be gentle because like I said, skin under there is super soft and tender and sensitive. You don't want it too tight, but you do want it snug. Last piece we're going to talk about is the breaching down here. This will, these little loops will have another piece that connects to the cart. The, the, um, con the main connector back here will pull one of these off. This will go directly to the front of the cart and hook in these loops. And then up here, there will be another strap that will connect to this. Basically what this breaching back here does it will stop the cart or slow the cart down when your horse is going down a hill. So the horse has to learn to sit into this to stop your cart from running over your little pony or your horse or donkey or whatever is pulling your cart. So that is your final portion of this video. Thank you.